you guys. So um, once you get your board settled and you're talking to your people about the opportunity and you know what kind of parties you're going to have, you have to remember what we're passionate about. Okay. Why are you passionate about this business? And if you're not passionate about this business, find a part of the business that you're passionate about. Okay. Cause we all have different things going on. So maybe it's a product. Maybe there's one product in this business that you just love. Like I said, the stack cooker is my all time favorite product, but there are so many people love the fridge smarts. Every time I talk to somebody about the vent and serves, I try to remember everything I heard Jessica Gordon say about vent and serves at shows because <laughs> the girl is passionate about vent and serves and she could sell vent and serves to somebody that never microwaved, never froze anything, never had a leftover and they would leave her with her with a set of vent and serves. I promise you. Um, the Ultra Pro, love the Ultra Pro, the choppers, we all love the choppers, it can be something as simple as the spatula or the can opener. We have great knives. Find a product that you love and talk to people about it. Put it out there on, you know, your VIP page. Show if you don't want to do a video, I get it. Okay, but you really need to get over yourself and get it done because people want to see the videos. But, you know, you can show pictures of yourself using the product. You can show pictures of your kids or your husband, you know, get somebody else to use it if you don't want to be on there and show them how easy it is to use, okay? You can get passionate about the perks. So you can get passionate about getting free products or the bonuses that we get, the recognition that we get. These are things that you can share with people and just talk about your own personal experience. Talk about, tell people what kind of free products you've gotten, okay? Because you say to people, well, you know, you can get the discount and you can get this and you can get that. Tell them what, if I got together all the things that I've gotten for free from Tupperware and put it in a picture and put it out there, people wouldn't believe it. They'd be like, absolutely not. I do not believe I can get that much free stuff, but you can. And we all know that. So share with them that that's some of the things that go on. Share, share your passion about the perks. Okay. Cause we all get passionate about free stuff. Let's face it. Um, and we have a lot of things to help us prep, a lot of educational things. Ellen just talked about some of that. We've got a ton of free training. We have free demos, guys. We have cooking demos all over the place. Champion has a YouTube channel that has cooking demos all over the place. Tupperware has demos on the Tupperware and, and US and Canada um, Facebook page. You can get demos everywhere and share them. If you if if you don't have the product or if you don't feel like you're good enough to demo, and trust me, I'll tell you, I have done some of the dumbest things demoing. People just, they laugh with you, okay? And it might be a little embarrassing, but it's okay. Um, and then some of the other things, okay, like Jubilee. If you haven't registered for Jubilee yet and you even have the slightest slightest inkling that you might want to go now is the time you can still register with the three um easy pay things so you can do it break it up into three payments until the end of february but you want to go if you aren't passionate about tupperware three days at jubilee will do it to you okay you will come out of there feeling like you are ready to conquer the world and that you know more about Tupperware in that 72 hours than you would have learned forever. It's great. It's great time with friends. It's learning. It's just a really good time. And then, and this for me is probably what I'm most passionate about. Okay. I love the stack cooker. I like the free products, love Jubilee, but I am most passionate about what Tupperware has done for me personally. And it's been going on 11 years now. Um, it's given me more family time. And my kids were grown, okay? My kids were grown, but my grandkids were not. And I get to spend time with my grandkids now that if I was still working a regular job, I would never get to do, okay? And they know that. Plus, it's given me, I have a couple of grandkids that are in college now. Um, it's given me another avenue to talk to them because now I get uh, texts and messages from dorms saying, Grandma, about that popcorn maker. Or, oh, you know, I didn't realize how much I used mom's grill when I was home. So I have one granddaughter that is going to do her own party at her dorm. 
and show people how to do things because she needs to make some extra money. And she really doesn't have time to go out and get a job. She plays sports. She's got classes. She's, you know, she's got things going on. So this is an easy way for her to do that. Um, I've made friends um, and you guys know it because you're here. Okay. I have friends I would have never had without Tupperware. And those friends have helped me to grow personally. Okay. Whether it's been training on here or just those the five people you hang around most or who you're going to be like, okay? My mindset is totally different than it was when I joined Tupperware. It's definitely different than it was six years ago. And I can I can attribute absolutely 99% of that to the people that I have met in Tupperware, the friends that I've met, the trainings that I've got, okay? So that's really important. And it's been a lot of self-growth. Um, people that have known me through that time know that there's been a lot of self-growth. And if you haven't known me through all that time, just believe me, there's been a lot of self-growth because there was a lot of stuff going on that didn't need to be going on um, just because of my personal situation. And it had changed so much. I'm, I was talking to somebody actually the other day at the IX that's been in Tupperware a long time. And they honestly thought, and you know, and that's okay, that I was divorced. Um, not, not a thing. Okay. My husband passed away eight years ago and it was a very, very hard time. And honestly, people I had known for years, just out, you know, like my kids had gone to school with them. I knew their parents and stuff like that. They were sympathetic, but they were not overly helpful. Okay. The people that I knew from Tupperware just jumped right in with, we're going to get you through this. We're going to help you. We're going to be right there for you. And they have been, okay? So if Tupperware had never done anything else for me, it got me through that period and still does because those of you that have lost somebody know that it doesn't just go away, okay? You can't just be like, oh, it's been six years and everything's fine now. Um, so some days it hits you harder than others. I was driving to the IX the other morning, song came on the radio and I almost had to pull off the road. I did get it together because I was smart enough to turn the radio off. But, you know, it just happens. So- the things that you need to get passionate about are the things that speak to you. So whether it's a product or the perks or, you know, the preparation, the education that we get or something personal, get passionate and share that with people. Because if you really, really, really share what's in your heart with people about Tupperware, they're going to do something. Okay, they're going to be a customer, they're going to be a host, or they're going to want to sign up and join you and find out what it is you're really talking about. So that's our soup. Okay, that, that's all the ingredients for the soup that we have tonight, Ellen. <laughs> okay, there are two things that were said there. Time out. We got to rewind. <laughs> Emma's going to sell Tupperware in college. That is very exciting. Yeah. I'm so excited about that. Um, and two, are you saying that uh, people that knew you your whole life did not show up at your house with a car full of toilet paper, and <laughs> paper goods, and coloring books for your grandkids? That, that's not normal? That's not, that's not what happened. And my kids were fascinated by that. My children had never met my Tupperware friends, right? And before, but like I came in the back door of my house coming home from the hospital and coming through the front door with bags and bags and bags of stuff were Pam and Ellen with food and <laughs> toilet paper and games for my grandkids and flipping dog biscuits because <laughs> Pam said, you're not going to think to buy this stuff and you're going to have a house full of people. And we just wanted to, you know, and my kids were like, who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> and they have since found out who they are. <laughs> we don't go away. We don't no, go away. <laughs> but oh yeah, my gosh. It, it was, it and was... that was actually just a coincidence, like that that you happen to be actually coming home. We were just gonna like we knew people were at the house and we were gonna leave stuff. We didn't know that it was gonna happen quite with that timing, but, but that was nice too, because I needed to see people. So <laughs> you, <laughs> needed to laugh. To see. Yeah. you needed to laugh. And I, I needed to be that. amused about the, the dog biscuits were probably the funniest things. I was just like, you're out. <laughs> but but Pam, here's here's a, here's here's Pam's heart. Art, right so we're walking around walmart and she is like oh wait her grandkids her grandkids we gotta get we gotta get coloring, coloring books crayons markers let's get all of that and then we happen to go past the dog biscuit aisle and she's like 
she's got a dog. We have to get dog biscuits. We have to take the dog something. We can't not take the dog something. I'm like, okay. <laughs> she was all over the place. <laughs> you guys left and my one daughter went, I guess we don't need to go to the store now. <laughs> I was like, no, we're good. We're, we're good. <laughs> but that's what we're talking about. Like when I was talking earlier about that community and this is the type of stuff that happens when you are all in, in your business and all that good stuff. So 